For seven or eight years now, we have been thinking and, and, and working and acting and doing things in a completely different way. Um, and, and that's the model of health creation. Uh, that, that's the model that is based on listening to our community, deeply listening to, to our community. And, and that conversation is now eight years in, in the um, in the offing um, and there's only ever one question and that's what matters to you and, and the answers vary uh, over time uh, and those of us that are in in the, the, the pay of the public purse health education local authority coupled with the voluntary sector charities faith sector our our job is to listen to to what matters and then to work with our residents to deliver on the things that's important to them but not to do to our residents and to empower our residents to to do things for themselves to become the doers and, and not the done to um being connected be, being in control increasing mm -hmm. confidence you know the, the keystones of of health creation um and genuinely i've i've seen life changing um, episodes resident by resident family by family over the years where where folks really have turned their own lives around supported by professionals not not just professionals teachers and 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 our local authority and that joint working between health education and local authority that that's been phenomenal in 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 supporting our residents um, and, and one of the things that's been key to that, it ha, has been empowering our community, genuinely empowering the community so, so that the residents are in control. Um, uh, and it, it's taken a while, but, but step by step, bit by bit, that there has been a, a giving up of control from those statutory agencies into the community and, and and working with rather than thinking that that we are very clever and we have all the answers uh, and we're going to come in and deliver services for you um, and um, so over time conversations change but there are some common themes that have run through the, the, the conversations um, social isolation that, that that's probably been one of the biggest drivers of, of poor health. Um, uh, and often that social isolation is, is something that the that, that people will choose to do, particularly where there is a real sense of hopelessness. Um, and, and folks tend to take on behaviours that are quite that well, they, they help them get through a really bad day and, and if every day is a really bad day you 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 tend to do things that just help you get through that day uh, and if you've got no hope that the future is going to be any better than the present and that's pretty dire then the those things that help you get through the day are things like excessive drinking smoking seeking more and more prescription medication um, mis misuse of of uh, illicit substances, binge eating, gambling, all of those things then obviously exacerbate your your health problems and exacerbate your poverty. Um, so we we talk a lot about building hope rather than you know creating health or or overcoming poverty. Um, and you know in, increasing a sense of pride in in the community um and and also trying to raise people's aspirations so a lot of schools and you know education is the route out of poverty you know improved healthcare is not the route out of poverty education is is the route out of poverty 